All right, Avery Freeman, a civil rights attorney and law professor in Cleveland. We called in the best per usual. And Richard Herman, <laughs> a criminal defense attorney, joining us from Las Vegas. Good to see you both. All right, so Avery, really you good. first. This is going to be a, almost like a FISA 101, but a real truncated version, because it is really complicated, but here we are. So we've got the GOP memo that has been released. It's very critical of the process. So first off, Avery, tell us, you know, what the FISA court is generally used for, what exactly is required in order to get a surveillance request approved? Well, usually, if you're in, 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 in 99.9999 percent of Americans have never seen a FISA application. Right. Ordinarily, you have 50 to 100 pages. You have affidavits. You have an investigation. You have substantial evidence <clears throat> in which the Justice Department merely has to establish, <clears throat> merely probable cause. That is a very low standard. And ultimately, a judge and ultimately a panel of, of foreign intelligence surveillance judges, and it's a private, a secret court, needs that evidence. And while uh, they don't automatically grant uh, necessarily uh, a warrant, ordinarily they do, but it is substantial evidence which a FISA judge requires. So mm -hmm. I guess that's the point here. With a three and a half page memorandum, there mm -hmm. is no possible way that you can really understand what the court did in this case. Mm -hmm. So, 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 Richard, in the case of Carter Page, this former, you know, Trump uh, campaign advisor. Uh, it has been stated that the FBI have been looking at him for a very long time. It goes back right. as far as, you know, 2013. But this GOP memo is kind of zeroing in on 2016 and right. the interaction that this advisor had with the Trump transitional campaign and even how the surveillance uh, continued of Carter Page even after he left the campaign. So I'm saying all that to say there were many renewals uh, for Carter Page page and the renewal comes up every 90 days and the deputy right. attorney general rod rosenstein actually signed off on a warrant renewal as did his predecessors so the gop memo is trying to establish that uh, you know rod rosenstein and others unfairly targeted you know carter page so help people understand you know what it means to get a renewal it's not necessarily just a stamp of approval but there's a lot that's right. entailed now you pick it up, <laughs> Richard. Okay, Fred. There's, there's a few things to digest here. Yeah. Uh, number one, there were four applications made on Carter Page mm -hmm. to suggest that either he was a spy or he was a foreign agent working against the United States. They based that on a lot of information, including the Steele dossier, which substantial portions of it were corroborated. The Republicans claim the Steele dossier is a fake document made by politically by the Democrats, which, by the way, began by conservative Republicans, a billionaire right. conservative Republican who funded it initially. Mm -hmm. But the point is this, Fred, in an application for a warrant, mm -hmm. the source of the information doesn't matter. The credibility of the information is all that matters. And so they were already portions, looking at Carter Page. Uh, there were other things, but the dossier sure. came kind of late in the game. Go ahead. This is... This is nothing more than a propaganda machine to lay the foundation to fire Rob Rosenstein. That's all this is. For the president wow. today to get on and tweet that this four-page memo by Nunes, this opinion letter by him, for which he never even read the 400 pages of underlying documents which supported the FISA application. He cherry-picked and put this together with no knowledge of criminal law, no knowledge of criminal procedure, no Wait knowledge of the FISA application. He puts this together for the president to say that this totally exonerates him. It's scary, Fred, because mm. it shows well. a complete... Lack of intellect, of knowledge of criminal procedure, of knowledge of criminal law, and of common sense. It's so, absurd. We are on the uh, level of absurdity so, right now, Fred. This so Edwin Nunes mm, in our right. lifetime could mm. well be the most corrupt, dishonest, oh, no, unethical wait, that's not congressman fair. we that's have not ever right. seen. So yes, then, it is. Not, so then, Avery, oh, I wonder, it, it, so if, uh, if the memo, if some worry that the memo might undermine the, the Mueller investigation... Is it your view or concern that the memo in any way undermines the FISA, you know, process? Um, does it 
potentially jeopardize other cases down the line because of what was released in this memo? Well, it might, but and that's why the Department of Justice said that there are material omissions, and that's very important. But at the end of the day, let me explain this in a, in a little bit different way, and my colleague and I disagree on things, but I bet <laughs> you will agree on this. In any kind of legal proceeding, forget the political part, in any legal proceeding, in a courtroom, a judge always says to the jury, Frederica, you've heard some of the evidence, and the judge admonishes, don't make a decision, you're not permitted to render a decision until you hear all the evidence. So, yeah, there's a lot of evidence. I don't understand if the president wants the truth, why would you hide one interpretation by the Democrats and release the Republican version? The fact is that that information, look, Americans are good and righteous people, and they want the truth. Let's get as much evidence as we can out right. so Americans can understand this. Right. All right, Richard, last word. Yeah, to answer your question on that, this is an issue of national security, Fred. It, it, it revealed to the public and to the Russians and a lot of other people the inner workings of the FISA court. That is national security, just like when the president invited the Russians into the White House and breached national security okay. with them. Think about in your lifetime how many presidents have breached national security. This was a complete waste. This is a propaganda machine. I'm predicting, Fred, within 72 hours, the president will terminate Rosenstein, put a political hack in there, who will happen. attempt to curtail Mueller or fire him. That's Won't the happen. sole purpose of this. Yeah. This Nunes piece of garbage is even though, even more. Though, even oh, though Jeff it. Sessions, the AG, you know, came out after the president and out. last night sending out a video message, message saying actually that he backed uh, you know, Rosenstein, he actually said his quality and leadership is what we want in the department. So that endorsement, re-endorsement by Sessions, perhaps that helps protect Rosenstein if everyone but thought Sessions. this was a prelude to Sessions. his removal. All right. We're That's gonna leave not right Trump there for a now. liar. <laughs> okay. Avery Richard, All right. always a pleasure. Appreciate it. See you soon.